It is Monday night. Uh, today is uh, kind of military night, uh, poker night at 151 Saloon. Uh, that's where we're here. And so, well, you can get to meet my poker fam today. So, hopefully, everything's gonna go good. And yeah. <laughs> so, let's go. We're here with uh, two of the people I I play poker with, uh, Jesse and John. Uh, John, I've known for about going on a year and a half, maybe two years. Jesse, you know, <laughs> I even remember last time. It's a while back. It's a while back. Years. Yeah, about five years. yeah, about five years. See, me and Jesse here have a, a good rivalry going on. It has been lasting since the first time we ever met. <laughs> first time we ever met, we were on a final table and we were trying to take each other out. And after that, it's, it's inseparable. It's been ongoing. It's been ongoing. Uh, so, uh, first question is, uh, when did you start playing poker? Uh, I watched it for a couple years. I'm only 23, so I've only been really playing it for the past three years. Past three so, years? Yeah. And that's it? When was your Out first of time? my 23 years of life, wow. three years. What made you start it? Uh, I always watched it on WSOP on TV, and I just caught on to it, and uh, family would play it. I just like playing little home games, and nobody else would want to play. <laughs> so then I found out about this, and I started coming here. And you, Jesse, I know you've been playing for a good long while. <laughs> yeah, I've actually, uh, for fun, it started off with the family. I didn't really start getting into it till I was about late in my teens. Uh, I used to play with a bunch of buddies, and we used to play actually cash games on the summertime. Um, but I can say honestly, I've been hitting this game pretty hard for about past 10 12 years uh just playing and learning the game and just you know trying to get better at it i haven't been playing that long the first time i played was back in 2002 2003 era but i took a good long hiatus and then i started really playing but when about the time when i met you yeah, that's when yeah. i started with about five years yeah so going on five years is really really kind of started playing out mm -hmm. uh, what's your greatest poker memory that you have I have yet to hit a royal flush, but uh, I've hit a straight flush, and it was at a Kickapoo. Um, I don't know, just the, the way they hand played out. It was really good. Now, uh, Kickapoo is a casino about two hours from San Antonio down in Eagle Pass. It was a good place to kind of go play. Um, nowadays, it's kind of almost uh, not uh, relevant to actually go and uh, play over there just because the card houses actually offer more more cash and don't have to worry about a two-hour drive and everything. And uh, you just, what's your favorite your your favorite memory? Oh, man, I, I have a lot of memories. Uh, typically, my fondest memory, when you push the buck and you go all in and you... You think you're ahead, but you're actually behind. Uh, walking up against aces, and you know I only had pocket tens, and I end up getting a full house on the river. That's my fondest memory, and those are those are really hard to come by. My biggest poker memory, when it has to, well, it actually has to do with y'all. My biggest poker memory I have with you is just actually recently just happened, where I had I had a pair I had a pair of sixes. I granted I didn't it wasn't good hand. But I was kind of, uh, he shoves all in. John shoves all in on the button. Now I'm in the small blind. And I'm looking at him and I could read him like a book. And I wanted to call him so bad. I wanted to call him so, so bad. And I folded. And sure enough, he flips over pocket twos. <laughs> and it was just the greatest bluff. That's the biggest thing I knew. And Jesse, I have so many memories with you. It's not even funny. Like, yeah, it's just, we, we go back and forth when our rivalry. But I think the biggest one is we're playing at a, another local um, league. And that one, the biggest memory I had was when I, I bluffed you on a big, on a big, big hand. Yeah. And oh, he big blew time. up. 
Yeah. Uh, he blew up. I flipped the lid on that one. Yeah, you came pretty strong, and uh, no, I think I think you read you read the book. I mean, you really saw if I had it. You know, you basically played with your instincts a little bit, and uh, yeah, I think um, you know pushing it to the limit and stuff. Like I said, you know, you can't you know scared money don't make money. So yeah, it was a good memory. Yeah, that was a, that that was like the biggest memory I have with you. And what's your biggest memory with me? With you, my very. First time, sorry for cursing. <laughs> my very first time being here, one card to a flush, and I had the ace of was it hearts or diamonds, and you had the other, you had the queen of hearts or diamonds, and I pushed on you, and you didn't believe me, so you you shoved and you called, and I showed my ace, and you got mad, and I was like, all right, cool. That was my very first time. And literally the very next day, or if not the next week, you had a reverse. So you had the ace, <laughs> and then I had the queen, and it got right back to us. And that was my, I think that's probably my fondest memory. <laughs> you, Jesse? Uh, you know, I would have to say my fondest memory would probably be just the other week, Lewis. Uh, the other week, we uh, went all in, <laughs> and I had to show up with a full house on you with that 9-4. So I'm, so I'm in the big blind. I have ace-queen suited. Uh, it folds around to Jesse in the small blind. He calls. I uh, I raise. Uh, I raise three times. He goes ahead and calls in the small blind. He's already he's already pot committed at this time, I guess. Flop comes all spades. Uh, nine on it's a uh, uh, king something uh, nine, all spades. He checks. I decide to check, trying to play a little trappy. Uh, four comes on the turn. Uh, he bets out. I decide to uh, raise. He goes in and calls. Nine comes on the river. He bets out. I raise him. He re-raises me. So I shove all in. He snap calls. And of course, I have the nut flush. Well, he ends up turning over a 9-4 offsuit. Yeah, the nut full house. <laughs> For a nut full house. Well, not the nut full house, yeah, but the yeah. full house. Yeah, nut full house. But yeah, so yeah, that, was a, that was just a recent one of this right now. <laughs> and even right now, before we came outside, we were, talk, we were talking about our family, or like just how we always been a rival. Yeah, and yeah. then John came along, and then he's starting to be our rival and yeah. starting to come around. Um, it's good practice. I mean, I, I, I tell John what I think. I tell Jesse what I think. Me and Jesse will go over hands as well as me and John's and what we think. And um, it's actually been good. So, yeah, it's uh, it's been a good run. Yeah, we definitely learned a lot from each other. Uh, our different uh, distinctive styles of playing, uh, you know, learning from one another, taking a page from each other's book from, you know, time to time as it is. But, you know, talking about these games, uh, you know, how we play, what we're looking at, you know, just to better ourselves. That's what makes it a great, great commodity uh, yeah. trying to play this game. Anyways. Yeah. And so, yeah, and that's basically it. Uh, this is uh, my poker fam here, at least two of them. And we, there's a lot more, but everybody else has already left it's already late it's already about to be 12 30 in the morning and uh uh we just got done playing uh first second third and then, yeah so we're gonna second, be playing took first yeah i took first <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're the bubble boy <laughs> we'll get that though we'll get that all right till next time yeah thanks a lot for checking out thanks bro yeah all right fam it was a good night it's kind of a long night, it's already 12.30. Always like playing with these guys, always like playing with everybody. It may be free poker, but there's still a cash prize at the end. That's what makes it good. Until then, man, keep on studying, keep on grinding, man.